Hey guys, it's the Friction here. Tiger Tank 1 2. How you call me? I don't really care. Welcome back to World of Tanks. And today we're going to take a look at the M24 E2 Super Chaffy. We're going to be comparing it to its bigger or clone twin brother, the T37. And we're going to see how well it does in battle. This is a tank that I did play a couple of times back in way, way back when it was a tier 5. It was just a chaffy, it wasn't called the super chaffy. It had the exact same turret, it had the 75 or is it a 75 mm gun or is it a 76 mm gun? I'm not entirely sure right now. It's probably going to be a 75 mm gun. Wait, let me just check real fast. Uh huh, uh huh, 75 exactly. It's the Germans that always use the 76 and the Americans that always use the 75s. So, yeah, this tank back in the days, it was. A lot of fun to play actually had a lot of pen uh, it went up against tier 10 vehicles quite often as a scout you were supposed to run around and scout these guys from very far away and thus you got hammered by uh, is 7s and all that kind of good stuff back then that has definitely changed so let's take a look at this vehicle and uh, compare it to the t37 and yeah it is a reward tank and the question is Obviously, is it just a garage slot or is it actually a premium tank that we can get behind of? Is it a good reward vehicle for having played this game for a long, long, long time? So we're comparing it to the T-37. You can see from the picture of these tanks or we can actually just go to the T-37. I don't own it at the moment in my garage. This is the fully loaded out, decked out T-37 and it looks one to one like the Super Chaffy. The, except, uh, the exception is actually the gun. The, the gun is a bit different. Um, it looks like that the gun is a bit shorter than the other one. But other than that, both vehicles are looking the exact same in their appearance. Or at least they appear to be the same if you look at the, the looks. <laughs> Let's put it like that. You can see that the rate of fire on the T-37 is a bit better. It also has a better pen. Gun loading is better because of the better rate of uh, rate of fire. It has better gun traverse speed. It has better um, gun elevation angles, but a bit worse depression of only. Now, this is very important. Nine degrees of gun depression is a lot. Ten degrees of gun depression is really, really good. The aim time, on the other hand, that's the question. Because I'm using a very skilled crew on my Super Chaffee. The T-37 is probably super close to it. It's probably the same. If I would use the same crew on the T-37 it would be the exact same. So you can see that the dispersion is pretty horrendous. There is no sniping going to be happening with the Super Chaffee. 0 0.41 uh, accuracy at 100 meters or dispersion at 100 meters is not very good. And yeah, the rate of fire is also not as impressive as the T-37. 1,636 versus 1,945. That's 309 DPM more than the Super Chaffee. So this already opts the question, well, why would you be playing the Super Chaffee if you have the T-37? If you just look at it from the raw firepower stats. But we can move on. We're going to check out the entire tank before we're going to pass judgment on this vehicle. But you can see that the survivability, on the other hand, is exactly identical. These tanks are spot on the same but the T-37 has a bit more HP, 20 HP more than the Super Chaffy, which is kind of odd since the Super Chaffy has more points and I don't really know why. But I would say that the point should definitely go to the T-37 because it has 20 HP more. <laughs> but it's a bit weird, doesn't matter. Yeah, this tank does not have the same HP, but other than that, it's identical and the 20 HP, well, they might save you once in a blue moon, but it's probably not going to be that much of a difference. Mobility wise though, it is a bit more different because the Super Chaffee does not have the same horsepower. It has nine horsepower or less, nine horsepower or less. Actually, it has a bit more than nine horsepower or less because I do have the first class equipment on that is called turbocharger exactly and it will give you a top speed of 60 instead of 57 because you get three kilometers per hour additionally and to be fair yeah t37 is faster by five kilometers and i'd say even by 
eight kilometers if you do take away the supercharger. So the T37 is once again, the better tank. Once, a bit, once again, the better option. Now concealment and spotting is very unfair at the moment because I'm using equipment, I'm using the crew on the Super Chaffee. I do not have the T37, so it's probably going to be identical or very similar to it. So the question that does arise is, do you really need the Super Chaffee if you are playing the T37 or if you already own the T37? And to be fair, if you really need a garage slot, it's not that different. It's exactly the same. It's basically a garage slot that Wargaming have gifted us. So yeah, why not get rid of it? You might get some nice credits by selling it. And you can see I get 580k. Maybe you need those credits. I don't know. But <clears throat> if you, like me, are a tank collector, obviously keep the vehicle. It is kind of unique in the sense that it's a gift tank. But other than that, it's kind of a bland, um, bland gift because we already have the P37. And since the T37 is better in every kind of respect, so it gives you a bit of a salty taste in your mouth that Wargaming didn't really try this um, this year around with the well-deserved well reward. And it's the second American tank that we're getting. We already have the Super Hellcat at tier 7. And we had the T50-2. At least the T50-2 was a vehicle that... A lot of people want it back. I think a lot of people are probably kind of disappointed that it's not the Aufklärungspanzer, um, the Aufklärungspanzer Panther, the tank that a lot of people dearly miss, a light tank that was able to ram even medium tanks and heavy tanks at tier seven. No, actually at tier five back in the days because it was a tier five vehicle. And that thing is probably going to be coming in the loot boxes instead of with this well-deserved reward so i can see i've looked into the um i've looked into the wall of tanks reddit and the people are not very excited about this reward i've also seen the review from quickie baby and the people in the comment section are not very happy with it i can understand their frustration i can totally get them but yeah in the end it's a free tank you can sell it if you do not like it you can keep it if you want to keep it. The big question that I have right now is, does this vehicle actually give you additional credit earning or is it actually just one of those tanks that will only give you additional um, experience for your crew, uh, a better crew trainer per se? I'm not entirely sure how I can check that because... Probably it, it probably has to be it has to be right but Either way either way we're gonna be going into a game. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how well it does and hopefully You guys will be either completely on the side of the super traffic at the end of this video or you're going to be selling it well, or you can make a decision because this tank certainly, well, is one of those vehicles that I would much rather sell than keep around just from my personal kind of point of view, if you own the T37 already, but I'm a tank collector. I'm a bit special in that case. So we're just going to keep it as it is. Okay. As you can see, there are a couple of super chaffies running around and it's a tier six battle only. So we will have the objective of spotting for our team in just a second hopefully you guys don't hear my computer fan spinning up this loudly in the background it's kind of weird the last couple of days this my computer has been going pretty damn ham with the fan curve but as it turns out i don't have any more stuttering in my video games and uh, it was really weird i had some serious stuttering in a couple of games and uh, it does seem to be resolved at the moment so what we're going to be doing with the t37 is we are actually not going into the middle because we already have a t37 going to the middle and uh, what we are much rather going to be doing is we're going to sit back at the base for a second and just see what our T37 friend right there will spot. 
hopefully he has a spotting loadout on their tank because spotting loadouts are the best in my opinion oh what i definitely forgot to mention right there is that i'm an idiot and that i just got spotted because somebody is obviously already in those bushes in front of me but also that the shell velocity of this tank is atrocious 792 meters per second is very very bad um even for a tier 6 tank in my opinion it's not very good and um i think if we just check the premium shells 990 is not that amazing either but that's certainly a change that could be worth it but not saying to use APCR because obviously I do not want to be spending credits just, you know, for free by shooting tanks that I can easily pen with standard shells. Just have to give it a bit more lead and have to adapt to the situation. But if you look at my tank, super chaffy, it looks nice. It's a nice tank. It's, I think it's a beautiful vehicle and uh, the green camo. This is the Vietnam style that you were able to unlock um, currently with the tank rewards that was going on. And uh, it looks really cool. I really, I really dig this style. I enjoy it and I like it. So right there we have the T37. This is my better version. And uh, you can see that the, the better version right there actually just punished me. Um, should have probably paid a bit more attention to not getting spotted right there, but always want to be careful right here because artillery is going to be very annoying in this situation the t37 uh, at least what i would would be thinking is that the t37 is trying to um make something happen right there get like a crossfire going we spot the super chaffy hopefully somebody in the back or at the base can pen that super chaffy from behind or just hit him because that would be great that would allow us definitely to um, move up further so right there is another super chaffy this time around we do manage to hit him put another one into him right there and to be fair i mean the rate of fire 4.3 seconds reload time 14 rounds per minute almost 15 it's not bad i mean it's it's pretty damn okay um for for a tier 6 tank i think it's it's decent for a light tank certainly it's okay and uh yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't be complaining too much about that um but it looks like that you know it's it's a bit weird since every stat about this tank every characteristic is just a bit worse than the t37 so i don't really understand why why they would just bring out a super chaffy in that kind of way they could have just kept it the same but then they could have just released like a, a camo for the t37 but it's a bit weird uh, i don't really understand why they did that because they it, I, I thought like okay maybe they kept like the original the, the original stats or characteristics but obviously that wouldn't make a lot of sense um but yeah it doesn't matter it's not like it's going to be the worst tank it's decent i would say definitely it's definitely decent it's still a super chaffy it's a lot of fun to drive around but um there are other options out there that are a lot more competitive i think people would have much rather seen the um the chinese uh, light tank, I'm not entirely sure what it's called right now, the, uh, oh boy, I'm gonna catch one, I'm gonna catch a big one right there, the Chinese light tank, the Type 62, or 64, uh, I think people would have much rather seen that tank instead of this one, but this is the vehicle that we have ended up with, and it's a bit underwhelming, that's just the thing that kind of, that I think fits perfectly for this tank it's a bit underwhelming because the t37 itself already is maybe not the best tank uh, or okay it's certainly not the worst tank but it's like mediocre and uh yeah, this tank is just a bit worse than the t37 so you're kind of looking at something that might not be the best present uh, but 
think we would have all been cheating ourselves or lying to ourselves if we would have expected Wargaming to give us a tier, I don't know, tier 7, tier 8 premium tank. I think no one expected that. So yeah, the Super Chaffee, nice little addition to the garage, it's decent. Um, if you own the T37, well, I think you could just sell it, keep the garage slot and, you know, play the T37 since it's better in every possible way, shape or form. But other than that, I think this tank is a neat little addition to my collection. Let's put it like that. But yeah, a bit underwhelming. But um, it always depends. It's I think it's subjective who thinks this tank is super underwhelming. Maybe there are a lot of people that enjoy this tank that have very good memories regarding this vehicle. So obviously for them, this might be a super awesome tank. And that's just something that we also have to agree on that we have to be, you know, um, kind of that we have to acknowledge that people who like it will like it and really enjoy it. And that's also good. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to stop rambling on now and I'm just going to finish this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, comment, like and subscribe. What do you think about the Super Chaffee? Are you happy with the rewards? for this year's well-deserved reward, or do you think it is a bit lame?